Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before starting the video, I would request you kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel. We try to upload videos on regular basis. Also, I have a telegram channel which is many to many. That means anyone can send messages to it. Okay. So I would request you to join the telegram group as well. Okay. The main reason that I tell you to join the telegram group because the update that I'm going to give you now, telegram members already have that. Okay. So that is uh, beneficial for them. So I would request you kindly join and stay updated with the whatever post or whatever new things I'm going to bring out. Okay. Okay. So coming to uh, this video, this video is the uh, new course day zero of the new DevOps course, which is of 60 days. Okay. That I'm launching on another platform outside of YouTube. So I want to give you update about what exactly is going to be in that course, how it is going to be beneficial and if you should get that course. Okay. Okay, so starting with the highlights of the course that I'm going to uh, like cover in that course. Okay, so the highlights is basically starting with scratch, uh, not just scratch, like completely basic. So even if you are from non IT, you'll be able to do it without any issue. Okay, and also like whatever scripts I follow, everything will be updated on the documents page so that you can just follow that and you can do the implementation part. Okay, okay. So starting with DevSecOps, we are going to cover security tools as well, complete security tools plus security practices. Okay. So DevOps from scratch, we will start with Linux. Uh, I will just explain you the syllabus basically. So we will start with uh, introduction of DevOps in deep. Okay. What, what exactly is DevOps, how it is going to be beneficial for us and how it is going to help us and like what problem does it solve? Okay. Then we will start with Linux. So Linux basic commands, maximum commands we will try to cover as well as uh, the networking commands okay that are like really useful that I have been using from quite some time in my uh, projects okay and then we will cover the basics of shell scripting along with some of the most uh, like commonly used automation scripts on corporate levels okay so that I will share with you everything I will explain you from scratch as mentioned okay so once we cover that then we will start with git git will be the deep dive where I will try to cover every commands important commands plus branching strategy that is being followed on corporate projects okay so that is going to be really useful trust me on that okay then we will be coming to build tools so at this point you know for java we use maven for angular or like node.js based uh, applications we go with node.js okay so maven deep dive will be there where i will explain complete life cycle with hands-on videos okay and as usual i will share the scripts as well okay for Node.js, we will cover the basics, how we use Node.js to manage packages, to build Node.js based applications. Okay. Okay. Coming to next, which is CI CD tools. So three tools I'm planning to cover, which is Jenkins, GitHub, uh, CI CD actions and GitLab CI CD. Okay. Jenkins will be deep dive because uh, most places Jenkins is being used. Fully fledged pipelines will be writing, not just one or two multiple pipelines. Okay. And I'm not planning to show the deployment of hello world application. Because I, I got to know that outside people who are selling courses, they are showing how to deploy Hello World application, which is not at all useful. Know where it is going to help you. And that is the problem that I'm planning to solve. Okay. So my, my applications, which I'll be showing you will be fully fledged so that you can understand the actual process, which happens for deployment of application on production environment or any other environment. Okay. Okay. So Jenkins deep dive will be there. And from Gen the day the Jenkins start, we will use Jenkins on a regular basis because we will be integrating multiple tools with Jenkins. Okay. Okay. For GitHub CICD actions and GitLab CICD, we will do the basics. Like I will guide you how to build applications using their CICD features. Okay. That is more than enough as a starter. Okay. Or already we will be getting strong in uh, Jenkins. Okay. So that is the primary focus. Okay. So once this is covered, we will be jumping to security tools. So I have like five or six security tools, which I have. I'll, I have mentioned in my, uh, what is that, uh, syllabus. Also, syllabus, if you want to get the detailed syllabus, you can just join my Telegram group. Everything is uploaded already there. You can just visit it, okay? So then we'll be coming to security tools. So in security tools, basically what I'm going to cover is uh, SonarCube, Trivi, Anchor, OS Zap, OS, uh, sorry, OS, depend OS dependency check, OS Zap, okay? OS Zap is used for penetration testing. So all this we'll be covering. In addition to these, we'll be covering the security best practices that is being followed in corporate projects. Okay. See, whole point of this course will be, I'll be showing whatever I have used on my corporate projects, security practices, tools, in whatever ways I used to write pipelines, everything I'm going to show you. Okay. Okay. So once we cover security tools, we'll be jumping to uh, Docker. 
Docker will be deep dive. Every concept of Docker will be covered. Docker image, Docker file, Docker container, Docker compose, Docker network, and how we can integrate Docker in Azure DevOps, Jenkins, okay, like that. And also like with uh, by using Docker compose and Docker container, I'm going to deploy really interesting applications, big applications. As I said, no hello world application I'm going to show. Okay, so Docker will will be deep dive. Then we'll be jumping to Kubernetes. Kubernetes will also be a deep dive. A video. Uh, or also like uh, uh, in Kubernetes, first we'll start with architecture. What problem does Kubernetes solve and how does it solve? How we can use Kubernetes for deployment of applications? How we can integrate Kubernetes with uh, uh, Jenkins? Okay. And how we will deploy applications? How we will manage the application deployed inside Kubernetes? Okay. So everything we will cover most important commands of Kubernetes. Okay. So that will cover. Then we will be jumping to Azure DevOps. Okay, so Azure DevOps at this point, if you know, is a cloud DevOps part. And at this point, I would suggest you learn any single cloud platform, be it AWS or Azure, whatever you are interested in, at least learn one cloud DevOps platform. Okay. Okay. So that is done. So in Azure DevOps, what we'll be covering, we'll be basically building and deploy application using Azure pipelines. Applications as usual, we'll be using a big application, fully fledged application. And for services in Azure cloud, we'll be using ACR. Azure Container Registry for Docker images pushing and create uh, building. Okay. And then we will be using Azure Kubernetes cluster for deployment of applications. Also, we will deploy application uh, like basic websites to Azure app service uh, uh, on web apps. Okay. That we will do. Then another service that are, we are going to use on Azure DevOps is Azure Functions. Okay. Azure Functions is one of the very interesting uh, service of Azure. So that also we are going to cover. Okay. So this is like the DevSecOps plus Cloud DevOps. Okay. So once we cover this, we will be jumping to resume building. And trust me, I have uploaded one of the video of the best resume you could find on YouTube or any anywhere else. Okay. So you can check it out. But since it's a paid course, I'll be giving you a much better version of a resume. Okay. Also side by side, I will help you to build the resume, what you need to write in what ways project you need to mention. How would you explain the projects? Okay. So resume building will be done. Then we'll be coming to interview preparation where I will be guiding you how to answer questions in interviews. Okay. So that will be there. And I will, men, I will help you to understand like how you are going to explain your own project, which you have mentioned. Okay. So that will be there. Then day to day task, whatever you are going to mention, I'll help you with that. Finally, we'll be coming to the most important thing. So many of my subscribers as well as uh, students are planning to switch the domain. Okay. Some of them are planning to uh, like working as a uh, developer and all, and they are planning to switch to DevOps. Okay. So for that cases, if you are going to show like, uh, what is that uh, experience, then in that case, I would be see uh, last module of the total 15 modules will be having and last module of the course will be, will be there to guide you with corporate projects. So I will be guiding you how deployments happen in corporate companies. And what kind of projects are there not exactly i will tell you everything like exact but little not little exactly deep dive overview i'll be explaining you how many teams are there what exactly each team task is there how do we write pipelines there how do we deploy applications and if it if if someone is asking you about those in your interview you should be 200 percent i'm guaranteeing you that you'll be able to answer in that way i will be explaining okay so this will be the uh, courses, uh, the modules, which we are going to cover. Okay. Detailed syllabus is, uh, I will be inside my telegram group. So I would request you kindly join and uh, get access to that. Okay. Also the, uh, the link for this uh, course is uh, in the description. So you can just go and enroll, uh, like we are having a coupon, a proper discount and 30% discount initial for uh, the like few students who are going to register as early as possible. Okay, so that is there. So if you want, you can just quickly enroll and courses will be starting from uh, 10th of August just to give you an overview about the sessions. So total 30 plus sessions will be keeping out of which uh, two sessions, two big sessions will be there on weekends and two small sessions will be there on weekdays at night. Okay, so like that, like 16, uh, 16 classes will be covering in a month and total two months will be covering uh, 30, 30 plus classes. Okay. And as I mentioned, everything is in detail is in syllabus. So I would request you join telegram channel and get it from there. Okay. So if you are having any queries, you can join and you can ask me in telegram channel. I'm active there. I can answer you whatever your queries are. Okay. Yeah. 
so that's pretty much for today and i hope this video is going to help you or motivate you to get started with devops okay so thanks for watching and have a nice day